Beloved Saints, we just wrapped up CES and a question was sent in to untwist the verse about touch not the unclean thing. So we're going to look at that in context. If you go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, first thing we're going to do is go to the beginning of the chapter. Let's look at the context of that. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Uh, Paul quotes the Old Testament quite a bit. Uh, and then you'll go down and you'll see that verse in context. So continuing here, it says, giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, and fasting, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true as unknown and yet well-known, as dying and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak to you as my children, be ye also enlarged. Now, we have done a study for the entire book of Corinthians. If you go over to the Church of the Eternally Secure channel and you look it up on uh, the Wednesday Bible studies, you'll see the context of all of that. But I wanted you to see these are instructions to saved people about how they should behave. All right. Now continuing the actual verse they use is this. This is what they want clarity on. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So Paul is quoting the, the Old Testament there. There are several places in Leviticus and Numbers about not touching the dead, not touching unclean things, not touching meat offered to idols, not touching all these things under the law. But what Paul is doing here is using an Old Testament concept and saying how it can be applied here. And it's not what you think. The context is this. Go above two verses and you'll see it. Be ye not unequally yoked with unbelievers. So the context here is being separate as God's people, not hanging out with unbelievers in their temples of idolatry, okay? As God's people, we are the temple of God. We have no business with these unbelievers and doing their practices. Remember, some of these people were going into temple prostitution and all kinds of other stuff they were supposed to abstain from because they're saints, okay? It has nothing to do with if you eat a certain meat, God's not going to receive. This is crazy. We we have clearly shown that an idol is nothing, nothing. Everything belongs to God. We're complete in Christ. So uh, the only time we stay away from that kind of stuff is if a brother who is weak in conscience does not understand his freedom in Christ, we do it for his sake, okay? But that's not what this verse is talking about. The context here is being unequally yoked with unbelievers, all right? And he's applying the Old Testament concept in a new covenant way. So, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Belial? Or what part does he have that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. 
Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. These are Old Testament verses Paul is using here. So he's saying, because you are saints, because you are God's people, because he dwells within you, you have no business in these pagan temples messing around with idolatry and all the stuff the pagan does. Don't be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. That's all this is. That's all it's saying. So, uh, you know, I, I want to tell you, the more you understand God's righteousness, by faith in what Christ did and stand on the foundation of the finished work of Christ and spend time in God's word, understanding that you will get freer and freer. You won't get more legalistic. I know with the zeal of God, we can easily be swept away into legalism because of our zeal for God. But what I have found is I've grown in grace through the milk of the word with the correct foundation in place, understanding how complete I am in Christ. And so these verses and these things, they, they should not scare us. They should encourage us because of our permanent standing in Christ. So Paul is telling them, you know, as the temple of God, he dwells within you. You have no business in a pagan temple with these pagan people. And that was literally what was going on here. So uh, that's what the context of this verse is. So anyway, um, I will be with my family. My son's birthday is this week. My family is still here. So I won't be back every day doing videos again just for the next week or so. But I'm going to be back full force uh, as of the new year. I will periodically post short videos. But... Um, I'll get back on track the new year and we'll have more of a, a steady stream coming out. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.